Hello, my name is Mary Montague and I'm going to read my poem Anatomy of the Horse, which is inspired by the studies of equine anatomy that the 18th century painter George Stubbs made as preparation for his career as a painter of horses, um, during which he made paintings such as Mares and Foals, a print of which you might just be able to make out on the wall behind me. Anatomy of the Horse. What made George Stubbs decide to make the horse his subject? To choose a creature of utility and show it worthy of the same respect as any classical god or ideal form. A focus on horse flesh so consummate, paint so animate, the story goes that Whistlejacket himself reared up at his own image. After years as a jobbing portraitist, when he came to his modest inheritance, the man left wife, children, his familiar trade for this madness. To hole up in a Lincolnshire barn, with carcasses now dignified as horse cadavers, to slowly strip layers of flesh to its bone. Months on each corpse, years in total. A decade distilled to the anatomy of the horse in 18 tables, all done from nature. It is a particular description of the bones, cartilages, muscles, faces, ligaments, nerves, arteries, veins and glands. That omits the gore, rot, stench, flies, the risk of disease to yield, chalked, pencilled, inked, etched, clean dissected glory. What does it say, this intemperate looking, this practised knowing of an animal from the marrow out? That earnest, laborious devotion to detail, worship of the gritty factual, is love. George Stubbs loved horses, not lightly, easily, sentimentally, but brutally, culpably, viscerally, unashamedly, heart, blood and sinew, and every touch of paint betrays the depths he would reach to, the heights transcended. Mm -hmm.